Hi, this is Worth of YoDemo.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to use Audacity to import some audio along with our voice recording. Because when you're making a podcast or anything like that, you need something other than your voice. Not necessarily, but maybe an introduction or just some background music. Basically to separate your podcast or audio from the rest. So I go to this website, jamando.com. Uh, they have a lot of great music. If you search the tag film, you'll get a lot of uh, you know movie-like uh, film sounds. Uh, don't worry about the link. Uh, it'll be provided with my um, with the video. So I found this really cool. Uh, I found this really cool score by Gene Baba. Uh, most of the music is. On Jamendo uh, Creative Commons. So if you're not selling your audio podcast or whatever, uh, and redistributing, letting people share just alike or whatever the terms of the Creative Commons rules are, then you're welcome to uh, use this music. So I have my audio inside of my audio track right here. There's nothing special about this. I just recorded my voice. Well, actually, there is. I I did some. I put some effects on this. I was going for that Rorschach sound, so maybe you can hear. We're waiting for someone to save us, but we know just as good as anyone else. All right, all right. You hear the, the evil, grouchy sounding voice. So what happens is we want to add some sort of uh, music to this. And the way we do that is we click on the project. And in project, we want to go to import audio. And in the import audio, what you want to do is select the audio you want to import. So I'm going to select Antarctic. All right, now that my audio is imported, I see um, basically my audio and how long it is. And now this is the time to edit anything I want to edit. For instance, I can edit the end or the beginning, you know, how long I want it to be. My audio recording is about a few seconds, you know, 15 seconds or so, and this song is a minute, three, a few minutes or so. So I can just cut it down because uh, I don't want to export a three-minute song, so I'll just highlight it with the selection tool and just <clears throat> press the delete button, and that'll put me to a reasonable size. Uh, I also moved using the uh, the time shift tool to move my uh, my voice audio. So it was at the beginning, and I wanted to move it, you know, let the music start, and then uh, have that play. So that's how you do it. Um, one thing about your project, um, after you're done, you might, you know, putting all your effects on one track or whatever tracks you need to put the effects on, you might want to merge your um, items together. Now just take the selection tool and just select both those tracks, and you want to go to, uh, let me move this up here you want to go to project and in project you want to hit quick mix and what's this going to do with those selected um, layers it's going to put them together so now you're work now you're dealing with one track this is good if you are you got a lot of tracks and you're done with them it's basically putting all in one or if you have a lot of tracks and you want to put the same effect on that same track on all those audio clips it's better to just merge them all in the quick mix so let's hear our final output We're waiting for someone to save us, but we know just as good as anyone else that it's going to be up to us. There's no one that's going to save you in the end. Just know that. Well, as you saw, you know, putting these this audio together really changes the um, the sound of, of course, and the the texture of the audio file so this can really um, add something special to whatever you're doing so uh, that's how you do that's how you import audio thanks for watching this tutorial if you like these tutorials don't forget to rate subscribe comment and go to my website so you can click on a sponsor to help support yodemo.com